Hello children. How are you? Fine. Yeah, okay. Myself, Pringal Bagadia from VN Godani English School. I hope you all are happy and healthy at home. Now you are in standard third, right? Okay, so in standard third, I am your computer teacher. So I will teach you computer subject. So be ready to learn about so many interesting things about computer. Today we are going to start our first chapter. The name of first chapter is hardware and software. So let's start our first chapter. If you have textbook, then open your textbook. And in the textbook, open our first chapter, hardware and software. So be ready. Let's start. This is our first chapter, hardware and software. Students, you all know about computer. Computer is an amazing machine that can do different different types of jobs. Job means work. Computer can do different different works. For example, drawing pictures, typing text, watch movies, watch videos, playing games, etc. Computer has different parts like monitor, keyboard, mouse, CPU. These all parts work together to form a computer system. But the two basic parts of a computer system are hardware and software. As you see on the screen, that two parts given in red color is H-A-R-D-W-A-R-E hardware and S-O-F-T-W-A-R-E software. Let's start with hardware. What is hardware? Hardware means the parts or devices of computer that we can touch and see. For example, in human body, two types of parts, one of them is outer parts like hands, legs, nose, ears, etc. They are outside of our body. That's why they are visible. Similarly, in a computer system, we can see the parts are called hardware. In other words, in a computer system, the parts that are visible to us are called hardware devices. Now, Tell me one thing, which parts of computer can we see? Yes, you are right. Monitor, CPU, mouse, keyboard are hardware of computer system. But the parts like hard disk, CPU, chip, motherboard, etc. We cannot see but they are also called hardware because they are picks inside the CPU box. Whenever we open CPU box, we can see them. So, they are hardware part of computer system. Hardware parts of computer system is further divided into three parts. Input devices, output devices and storage devices. Let's learn input devices. Today, in this video, we will learn about input devices, what is input devices and which are input devices with pictures. Special types of hardware devices that are used to insert words, numbers, pictures or sound into a computer are called input devices. In other words, we can say that the devices that are used to insert or add input means insert or add data or information into a computer. So, the devices that are used to add or insert data into a computer are called input devices for example keyboard keyboard is used to enter words and text through keyboard we can type whenever we type on the keyboard text is visible on the computer screen that means text are insert into the computer mouse mouse is used to give instruction to the computer that's why mouse is also input device Third one is microphone. Microphone is used to record our voice into computer. That's why our voice goes into the computer. That's why microphone is also input device. Now let's learn more input devices. Let's learn more about input devices. The input devices which are given in our first chapter are trackball, scanner, Web camera, microphone, light pen and joystick. 
our first input device is trackball. As you see on the screen, trackball has a ball on its top. The work of trackball is quite similar to mouse. It gives instruction to the computer. As per movement of ball, pointer will move on the computer screen and gives instruction to the computer. Our next input device is scanner. As you see on the screen, scanner has a flat bed surface on which we can put any picture or document. And scanner will copy that document or picture and put into the computer. And like this, scanner is called input device because it input data into the computer. Our next input device is web camera. Web camera is used to share pictures and have live chat with our friends and relatives using the internet. Using web camera, we can uh, make video calls to our friends and relatives. Our next input device is microphone. A microphone is used to record our voice or any other sound into the computer. It is look like a mic. Whatever we speak is recorded in computer through microphone. Next input device is light pen. Light pen is look like a pen but not a normal pen that we have for writing in our notebook. We can say it digital pen. We can write with it on special pad and whatever we write is seen on computer screen and in this way data is put in computer. As you can see on the screen using light pen we can put data into the computer. Our last input device is joystick. Joystick is used to play games. When you are playing video games joystick is used to move items or objects on the computer screen so students this in this video we learn about hardware input devices now in next video we will learn about our next topic next two parts of hardware that are output devices and storage devices thank you